everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh yep we're in another new truck <laughs> and this is that uh when i asked that question a while ago what uh are the modern trucks should i drive and it seemed to be i got more uh people saying the 5700 xc so here we are and what it's about is this uh we're at um mountain brew kalispell montana and it's um Sinup Toro's Mountain Brew, and Sinup Toro is one of the guys who helps make the prefabs and or items to put in the game, like you know the tractors and implements and all that kind of stuff for recon. And Sinup Toro is also the fellow who did the Santa sleigh thing at Christmas. Anyway, we've got a uh, I made a beer label and put it on the door here, and got a trailer skin Go around the other side maybe, or maybe we'll have to get driving. Anyway, uh, where does it say on here? Can we see it? Oh, oh no, we'll have to see it when we, we get driving. It says on the back, only the best natural ingredients. And that's got the beer label. And uh, nice mountain scene on an SCS trailer and SCS truck. And so, let's uh, hop in, get on with it. Uh, brakes and everything, lights, and it's raw. So we got uh, 43,337 pounds of beer on. And we're going to uh, Grangeville. It's, uh, oh. We should be able to get out here. Yeah. This horn we set off. I know. Do you guys notice that? And are you always setting off horns and stuff? I'm always setting off car alarms. That's the first time I had an air horn going. Let's step out and have a look back at the brewery. That's pretty cool. What we can see through the trees. See if we can see the trailer as we go by here. Oh, I know. Do I have all the camera modes on this one? Yep. So that means I should have. Uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> it's going too slow. We'll try a, dri a drive by uh, at some point. We'll hop in here and make sure we're doing the right thing. Yeah, turning left. So it's 350 miles, so it's not exactly right around the corner, but we should be able to get it in a reasonable time. So I'm going to have to update the uh, open defs that I have on uh, my Discord to include this truck. I just put this uh, one in the uh, Zmod DD60 because uh, I'm not getting this lane here. The next light. Go straight. Um, yeah, because I was outfitting this truck and I saw it had a DD60 option, so I tried it and it was like, eh, okay, <laughs> it was brutal. Anyway, so I went and I added uh, Zmod's DD60. And that's what we're running here. Maybe we better look at the trailer. I uh, went, uh, it took quite a while to find a mountain scene that I could get on the trailer in high enough definition that it didn't just look all blurry. So, uh, that one seemed to work pretty good. Thank you. 
so it's, I'm not even 100% sure. Well, I guess that's in the game. I, you know, like I was trying to get this uh, trailer and a skin pack and everything done in time for when uh, Recon was going to put that in the game, in his map. And I guess total miscommunication there uh, on when it was going to happen. So I'm uh, late to the party and I still don't have the the skin pack's not entirely ready. The only thing I got to do in the trucks is, uh, well, I'd like to do something about the door on this one. Move the label there. And uh, the uh, W900 spoiler. Is I think I got a fix, I just don't remember. Because it's an advanced skin to get the roof spoiler. But, um, I still have to do all the trailers, which is going to take some figuring out how, how am I going to do the little short trailers with that great big long, Whew. I think the 28 would just be, uh, maybe just do the scenery and leave all the stuff on the back off, maybe put the label on it, and then when you have it as a B-double on the 32 foot have the only the natural best ingredients and everything and then that would look good as a combo and then the Rocky Mountain double would would be all right with that 28 on the back with the scenery on it and I think that's the way to go make the uh, 48 and the 45 kind of like this one just have to shorten the scenery off somewhere Got the windows down so I can hear the engine because we'll put them up once we get going. But After 50 yards, turn right. this is another really quiet truck. Turn right. Went over the curb there. Go straight. And get our Go rear straight. all foamed up. So, I wanted to use Truckee to get the job specifically where I wanted to go, and I couldn't, I don't know what the cargo was named, and uh, I guess that's, I don't know how to figure that out without just trying all the cargos, but there's, uh, re Recon's cargos just show up as sort of a, a number code, and there's, you know, you get all the different loads in there. It just, I have no idea. So I, <laughs> I spent a ridiculous amount of time advancing the, uh, the day and just cycling through days until I got a load that was in, was beer and was within range. Because I could get waste paper job, you know, taking waste paper from the site all day long. But it was really tough getting a beer uh, one. Took a long time. But whatever. <laughs> we got it on now and we're rolling. So I don't know what it would take to uh, oh, dog running loose over there. Um, I don't know what it would take to have the uh, Loads named in Truckee. Like named what they are, so. It would be nice, but. Um, not sure how that all works, so. Maybe something that's not, not too easy to do. So, as for the truck got quite an interior like oh you have nothing look at the diamond uh, tough interior it's pretty swank
gotta pay attention to where we turn off our green shell, I forget. side of legal. started off, uh, it's uh, Saturday evening, I started off looking for uh, a trip in Mexico. <laughs> I was going to do the uh, GMC Astro, and then uh, oh, I was just farting around and looking at stuff, and next thing you know I saw this, uh, that the uh, Mountain Brew thing was there were loads, so kind of got sidetracked and went down that rabbit hole and dug the skin out because I haven't worked on this skin for probably two or three weeks. And other things came along, and I didn't uh, understand the, uh, I guess, the time scenario for when this was going to go in the game, and I missed it entirely. And I guess I was so busy, and it's uh, recon didn't probably want to bug me about it say anything so when it did go in the game so it didn't happen so I'll put that back on the front burner I'll try and get something done on this uh, as soon as possible fun last night, Friday night, uh, I took the caddy to, uh, to lo right. the local A&W cruise night, you know, classic car thing, and, uh, you know, it's a run what you bring, like, you know, people bring all kinds of things, you know, a GT40 or one of those GT4 GTs cruise through, and there was, there's, lots of new hopped up Mustangs and man there was one it was a Fox body all done up road race style it was pretty epic it was running uh, race feel like he just smell it like when he started it and uh, he was parked right near us you could just smell that 102 octane or whatever the heck he was running but it smelled great it sounded absolutely mean but, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of things, so I convinced Barb to come along with her Miata, and that was kind of fun. She usually doesn't want to go, but, uh, so Pulse is on the map now. That's cool. That's a thing that uh, Recon and Driver 47 did, so you can go there and get fuel. I don't think there's any loads there, but... It's on the map now. It's kind of neat.
Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Went over with a few buddies and uh, yeah, it was a good time. One of the, our youngest uh, went with us as well. Rode down there with Barb and Yada and rode home with me and the caddy. Uh, cake season, like, uh, oh, there, let's put this up so we can chat. Oh, we're gonna get around this guy, I don't think so. No. Uh, yeah, in the middle of cake season, so it was my birthday last week, and Monday Go is the youngest's birthday, and then Tuesday is the older one's birthday, and then, uh oh. What was that all about? Stuttering. And then uh, July 10th is Barb's birthday. So we got everybody's birthdays in a pretty short span. About a month and a half, so that's why we call it cake season. It's, it's kind of nice because they're all kind of opposite Christmas, so we don't have everything all jumbled up at one end of the year. It's kind of good. But, yeah, so we got to uh, figure out what's going on with the young'uns, because, oh, I say young'uns, they're, God, how old are they going to be? Wow, they're going to be, wow, they're going to be 23 and 25. Holy, time frickin' flies. Unreal. Go straight. Just the other day, there were little kids and taking them to daycare so we could go off to work. And wow. Huh. And then on Thursday, uh, Megan, uh, the older one, goes off to Montreal for 13 days with her friends. So that's kind of exciting. But Straight. As always, uh, oh, I hate it when they go somewhere. It's <laughs> kind of moping around, missing them. <laughs> uh, they're great kids. But it won't be long, you know. They'll probably both be gone. And oh boy, let's talk about something cheery. Okay, here's our turn coming up. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. I think the only times I've gone to Grangeville in the past. It's been um, with, um, or sorry, out of Troy. The logging site. As yes, I've come north and head to, headed towards Grangeville, so be the first time I go on this uh, Turn right. ramp here. Oh, excuse me. So, this truck is pretty luxurious uh, inside. I don't think it's quite as quiet as, what was that other one we were driving that was super quiet? Uh, what were we driving? Go hmm. straight. What the heck was that? Oh. Oh, is that, what's that new truck that came out? It's not this one, there's another one. Oh, the Volvo. Yeah, right. That thing's really quiet. Go straight. Not sure what I was running in it for an engine. This uh, Z-Mod DD60 is a little rowdy, so. Mm 
Did the uh, ribs on the on the trailer kind of ruin the paint job? It looks uh, good on the uh, insulated van, but the uh, rib sides of the reefer kind of mess it up. Once again, I got Larry A's mud flaps on here. There'll be a link in the description of the video. And uh, the mod he has is uh, mud flaps for the. SES trucks. So you get great Dane for the reefers. Right. After 50 yards, turn right. You get Fontaine on the low boys and turn right. the flat decks, I think. On the low boys for sure. Boy, this is taking us forever to get out of town here. Well, we had that little stretch of highway, but it didn't last long. If we look at what we got on the map, we should have a... Uh, yeah, so we get... We got one more little community thingy here, and then we'll hang right, and we'll pretty much be on our own all the way to the site, which is UPS in uh, Grangeville. Well, that should be pretty interesting. It's a neat road. Don't think I've pulled a, a reefer down here before. Been logging trailers in low boys, I think. This is right on. The road south of here is really nice too. Keep right. We've been After on it. Fifty yards. Turn right. I think we've done a south uh, heading on down that way more often than we've gone off to the right here. And come back up this way from the south. It's pretty nice. Turn right. Oh, got my eye beams on again. Lolo Hot Springs. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, out in the garage today and put the finishing touches on those uh, trailing arms. And so that's done. Well, other than I gotta get them on the, uh, bench mounted wire wheel thing and just give all the welds a, a clean up. Oops, the wire brush. Is this customer uh, made a deal with them that I would send them to them unpainted and give them a break on the price and I don't have to paint them. So I hate painting them. It's a bummer. There's so many angles and facets and everything else on them and 
it's just tricky and uh, you know you paint them black and it's kind of hard to see what's going on and get a good idea of you know how thick the coat is and if you're getting runs or not it's hard to light to paint tricky black stuff like that so you look at it and think oh man this looks great and then you get it in the daylight and you go oh man it ain't so hot Idaho Idaho. Hundred miles to go. Wow, speed up's only fifty here. Got a good deal over that. I didn't take a wrong turn somewhere. This looks like the road that goes to Salmon. I don't think it is. Now we'd have a lot further to go if we were on that road. I guess we're on the right road. It just looks similar. Windy. So we should jump out. Let's jump out on the... Which one is it? This one? Yeah. You look around. Cool. Uh-oh. There's a forest uh, lookout. Forest fire lookout tower up there in that hill. That's cool. We were kids. We really wanted to go up one of those and... Yeah, we thought that'd be the coolest job ever, but got older and kind of figured it out. It's kind of lonely. <laughs> You're not up there like doing a hobby or anything like that. You got to be watching. Boy, the uh, fires are finally under control here in Alberta. It's, I don't know how many are down to 30 or 40, but uh, far cry from the, the 70, 80, and 90 that we were having. So we haven't had uh, the smoke in the atmosphere for a while. That's a nice drive, eh? It's looking pretty good. Should have uh, thought to get in, take a photo along there somewhere. But I like when it crashed because all the corners. Oh, here's a good spot to get a photo. It's straight. See if we can get the truck going straight. Zoom in on it. Oh, trying to get on the road. Oh man, what did I do? How did I? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Darn. Now we got a corner. Oh, we'll try that again. I hit the adjust uh, cabin adjust switch instead of the camera switch. Man. Brilliant. Yards, turn left. Oh, we got a scale. Okay, let's see where is it. Rest area, way station. Ahead. Turn left. Well, we will in a minute there, Lori. sharp turn back into this thing. Mm -hmm. I got 
Marco said. <laughs> He's playing chicken with us. Hello, boys. How's it going out there? Oh. Uh oh, I stalled it. 83,406. I didn't even play my little guessing game. I was too preoccupied chatting with those dudes. Hmm. 83,000. 43,000. That leaves it's 40,000 for the uh, truck and trailer. The trucks probably pretty heavy then because I don't think the trailer would weigh 18,000 if the truck's 22. The truck could be 24 and the trailer 16. I don't know. Never gave it much thought to what a reefer weighs. Man, this is just like driving to salmon. I'm telling you. No, 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 it's not. That's right. Yeah, this... Yeah, I'm thinking of a different trip. Yeah, Grangeville 30, we're on the right track. Well, we better think about, well, <laughs> I kind of missed a shot at getting a photo because uh, we got to pay attention to the road here. This next while, it's going to be a little wobbly. put a bug deflector on it thinking I would see that but I think what I'm seeing out there is uh, just the very top of the hood I think you know the just in front of the windshield I just see in the upper part of the hood, not seeing the buck deflector. Yeah, we came in here a few weeks back. Can't remember what we had on. We went over to the uh, a site in town, After sort of on the. Hundred yards, turn right. Oh, that's what we did last time, but we went a little further in. Oh, no, we went further into town, I think. Yeah, we turn did. Turn right. All those ziggy zaggy roads up there on the, on the map on the dash. That's where we went last time. So, there's something new. Never been here before. Cool. You have reached your destination. All right, what do they got in store for us? All right, pretty straightforward. What kind of room do we have there? Oh, I think we got room to do a normal kind of parking job, maybe. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Okay, better get our little zoomy button going here.
probably, oh, we're going to be too far to the left. Try and bring it back a bit. gonna give it to us? I think that's a pretty crappy parking job. Better look at that. Oh yeah, that's no good. Can't do that. Straighten it up. So I wonder what UPS is gonna do with the beer. Maybe some kind of employee appreciation day party. How would that be? When's the last time a company did that these days? Boy, look at us trying to get this thing parked. Brutal. All right, well, there we have it. Let's uh, get this thing shut down. Seventy miles, three hundred miles, or sorry, seventy gallons at three hundred miles on the dot. Interesting. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So we'll try and do something with this. Um, finish up the skin pack. Uh, oh, can't really see the trailer from there. Yeah, the light's bad here. Yeah, I got to fix up uh, this. Move the uh, beer label on the door. And uh, yeah. So this truck was kind of interesting. I didn't mind it. <laughs> it's not really my thing. I'm kind of looking forward to when they do that uh, 589. Um, hopefully that comes out this year. That would be kind of interesting. Looking forward to that. Seeing what can be done with it and, you know, how it paints. And Anyway, that's another story for another day. And uh, as always, guys, appreciate you following along. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this skin pack. It's look forward to coming out <laughs> i gotta uh hopefully next week i can get at it because i still got a few other things in uh immediate fire and then i can throw this stuff into the old onto the burner and get her done but uh as always appreciate you following along take care guys we'll catch you on the next one bye for now mm -hmm.